This is your servant, Shaka Abraham, and I want to welcome you at Pilgrims on Earth program here at Pashuas of Heaven Church with the Pashuas worship team. Yeah, we are glad to serve with you and to share with you the Word of God. We are talking about the Levitical and priestly services today. And we want to continue sharing with you. Yes, the last time we are here, we said we are going to be talking about the duties of the Levites. What do the Levites do? Amen. So as we have already talked, some of the Levitical um, descendants from the clan of Levi, actually you know Moses is part of the Levi. Moses, Aaron, Miriam, Samuel, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Ezra, and Malachi. Huh? All those are part of the few that we can mention that belong to the lineage of the Levitical uh, generation. Yes. So the Levites have very many duties. I don't know. There, it's a little complex, but I don't want to go into the details, okay? Are we together? Yeah, but there are so many, many people that belong to the clan of Levi. Hmm? Are we together? So, uh, but because we have already talked, you know, uh, we began by reading the books, the people who belong to the Levitical clans. Uh, and so now we want to see some of their duties. Amen? Okay, let's, let's first read uh, one of our scriptures in... Uh, this is what the Bible says. But the Levites shall pitch around about the tabernacle of testimony that there be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of testimony. Uh -huh. So from only that verse, we see that the Levites were supposed actually to leave around the tabernacle. Are we together? Yeah, around like the church, around the temple of meeting, that is the tabernacle. Are we together? So like the Levites, we are not living far, far from the worship house. Hmm? Far from the church. They were living around. Why? Because they, are, they were going to take charge of the tabernacle. Are we together? So from that alone, you know very clearly that God, God wanted the Levites to uh, not to uh, like say I was late because I live far. I was late because of this. The church is not clean because we are too far. We are busy. So God wanted them to live around the temple so that they can be able to take charge, as in to take care of the temple. We are going to, to, to be reading a few more things, and you will find out that actually the Levites had so many work, including being temple guards, cleaning the dishes, Washing and cleaning the church. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Um, they had duties of um, building. Actually, among the Levites, there were even people who could build. There were those who could wash the dishes. Actually, one time I remember we had a meeting. We had a meeting and, uh, and, uh, and I told you that actually some of us, sometimes they told us that we should also sometimes take charge of cleaning the utensils at the church. And some people were telling us, me, I'm a man. Me, I cannot clean the church. Me, I'm this. But actually, those who work in the Old Testament, it's the Levites that used to do it. It's also ministry. Yeah. So today, we know that ministry is about getting a microphone and you talk to the people. But actually, according to that time, in that time, even mere people like us were not allowed. Different Levites did different duties. People who would speak to the people were actually priests. Of course, priests were also belonging to the Levi clan. Are we together? Because priests are descendants of, of, of Aaron, the brother of Moses. But Aaron and Moses were also descendants of who? 
of Levi. Okay? So, that's where, that's where the priests come from. And so, I'm trying to remind you that it was not just all about singing in the church. Actually, there were Levitical choirs. Yes. You should know that some Levites were belonging to the music what? Ministry. But that's not the only ministry that the Levites were doing. Are we together? And you will find that actually musicians were not only doing music. They were also doing other Levitical services. Are we together? Let me read for you another scripture. Um, uh, let's read Numbers 18 and try to see what we can learn there. Numbers 18. Uh-huh. The Bible says, The Lord said to Aaron, I'm reading from verse 1, The Lord said to Aaron, You, your sons, and your family were to bear the responsibility for offenses connected with the sanctuary. And you and your sons alone are to bear the responsibility for offenses connected with the priesthood. Are we together? So now they were giving different responsibilities. Now, before we even continue, you have to know that some of these duties that the early priests and Levites were doing were actually abolished. Some of them and many of them, which Jesus said that I came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill. But actually also the Bible says there are things like sacrificial rituals and so many rituals that were abolished because of the death of Jesus on the cross. Are we together? But they are those that we are fulfilled. Just like what we're doing now, the worship. Are we together? It was not abolished. It's a continual or a continuous requirement or sacrifice because the Bible talks about it even in the New Testament and so many others that we can see. The responsibility of cleaning the church. It was not abolished because the church must stay clean. But unfortunately, the Levites of today only want to hold the microphones. They don't want to clean churches. Even when they clean those churches, they want to be paid for it. They do it as a job, not as a ministry. Do you understand the difference between a job and a ministry? I have some people. Actually, you who is watching me, you should know. I have some people seated here. So that when you see me look around, you should know that. Uh -huh. Do you know that? What is a ministry and what is a job? Mm -hmm. A ministry is, not, is about serving God. What you didn't add voluntarily. Are we together? With love, not with an aspect of payment. Because that is it. When you read the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 8, the Bible says, you are freely given, freely do what? Give. So according to the Bible, we do not serve God to earn money. We do not even serve God to earn favor because the Bible says in Matthew 6, in beginning with the first verses until like 8, are we together? It talks about prayer, it talks about giving, and it talks about fasting. It says that when you pray, do not show off. When you fast, do not show off. When you give, do not show off. Do your things in the secret. And the God who is in secret will reward you. Because do not, when you blow your trumpet and people see what you've given, then you have no reward with the Heavenly Father. You see? So God rewards those who do not show off. Who do not do things to be seen. Who do things for God. But even when we do things for God, we do not do it for gain. We do it as an appreciation for a great sacrifice that he has already done for us. Are we together? We do not do it that we are going to get money. Actually, that is what you can see the people of old, especially the early church. You can see people died poor 
he says in Revelation chapter 2 from verse 9 to 10 that I know your poverty but you're rich. Physically you look poor but you're rich in the spirit. Are we together? So godliness is not about gaining money. It's not about gaining fame. I hear about some of our pastors and, and friends saying that they have celebrities, Christians who are celebrities. Uh, but that is not right. The Bible does not allow any Christian to be a celebrity. The only celebrity we have is God and His Son, Jesus Christ. 